You know what they say about new launches. The less you hear about a launch on launch day, the better, because you pretty much only hear about them when things go wrong. Like with snipers, snipe the whole supply, or a dev rugs, or pre-sale holders sell aggressively in the chart tanks. But on the contrary, when a char when a launch is super smooth, and then snipers are kept out, and pre-sale holders are all holding pretty much, and the chart is slowly ticking up, it just doesn't make the news. And that is thankfully exactly what has happened with Monkey Shit Inu's very smooth launch this morning. Here is the chart looking pretty good, very good, as you can tell, three and a half million market cap. So you may or may not remember, they raised a very impressive 520 ETH in a long two-week pre-sale in Gempad. That's about 1.7 or 1.8 million dollars. So that is exactly the opening market cap that it started at. Then it had a very small 10 to 15 percent dip, and since then it has just been off to the races, higher highs, higher lows every single day. I don't know, guys, if you're waiting for a, a dip or a pullback to get into this thing it's not guaranteed that that's going to happen i don't think it is frankly maybe tomorrow july 4th is a holiday you might get some flat price action you might be able to uh, you know buy a dip in there but otherwise i do not think we're ever going to be talking about this project again at market cap levels even remotely close to this low three and a half million dollars more about it so it's on ethereum not base chain not solana ethereum near perfect 94 to 99 dex t score three percent buy tax three percent sell tax that does go to good things like the marketing wallets 587 holders that's mostly the pre-sale holders plus a few people that aped in this morning good liquidity uh 24 hour volume four hundred thirty thousand dollars. and if you look here you got a lot of pretty big buys you got a four thousand dollar buy there a fifteen hundred dollar buy three thousand dollar buy there was a nineteen thousand dollar buy like an hour ago so slippage does not appear to be a problem Problem and mini whales are entering. Additionally, the project is listed. It's trading on Uniswap and Bitmart. They got listed on Bitmart during the pre-sale phase. A very good job with the team. They get shit done fast. Additionally, some foreshadowing of future exchanges. If you go to the Monkey Shit Twitter page and click on following, it appears that they are following a MEXC listing agent. Might be talking to MEXC. Maybe, maybe not. We shall see because if you scroll down here, they are following a Bitmart listing agent. Now they're on Bitmart. Additionally, I mentioned the projects on Ethereum, which I like. I like Ethereum because the, the devs, the traders, the holders, everyone just holds their projects for much longer and they only stick with one or two projects. I don't like Solana because it's just too GD. The Solana influencers ape multiple different coins every day. They ape dozens of coins every week. So their followers are going to do the same thing. And that creates a whole culture on Solana where people rotate in and out of positions fast. A project needs to stick around a while for the team to get in sync with each other and with the community. That's when you make money. That's when you have gains. That is what Ethereum is as a whole. That is what Pablo Crow is. That is what the followers, they have that mentality too. They stick with projects for a while. That's why I am bullish on this one. Additionally, let's look at the holder count. And before we go there, a lot of other people um, are bullish for that same reason. Some people, this guy, all the winners, he's saying Monkey Shit Inu will kickstart the Ethereum meme bull run. So people are aiming high. Now, let's look at the token distribution just to make sure the snipers were kept out. Nothing shady. And this looks great. So this is the pre-sale wallet. The pre-set address right there. That's the 44%. The 9%, that's the liquidity wallet. And then other than that, very decentralized, pretty much every wallet except one is under one percent so not you don't have a few walls just holding a bunch of supply this four percent wallet is probably a team wallet they've been uh, buying a lot of the supply earlier for most of the day which that's what you want you don't want this to be a random sniper who's just going to sell the first pump you want the team getting good supply control then they can so no one can sell that supply and if they want to use that for marketing or something else they can do that if they want to just hold it as in no one can buy it from them they can do that too but that's what i like to see more on the pre-sale. So I mentioned that they raised 520 ETH. That was out of 540 ETH hard caps. They almost meticulously planned this hard cap to the hour. They knew exactly how much people were going to raise. So this just shows good planning. That exchanges, this does matter to them. They like to see that you met or came close to your hard cap. If you raise money, but you didn't come close to the hard cap, they're going to ask what went wrong. So this kind of checks another box right there. Additionally, look at the minimum buy was 0.1 ETH, but the average person put in almost 1 ETH, 0.93 ETH. That's about $3,000. So you have a lot of serious investors a lot of mini whales the mini whales tend to be better traders they hold for longer as opposed to pre-sales that have an average buy three hundred dollars those people are just going to quickly rotate out and ruin the chart so what is the project you might remember from my first uh what is the meme exactly so monkey shit you knew it is just a combination of a monkey and a dog keeping it simple 2021 throwback now if you look at the roadmap They've already smashed through this big milestone here. Shit swap or shitty swap that was launched. 
29th, several days ago. Here it is. It is a DEX cross decentralized exchange for Ethereum coins. You can hook it up. So how many times have you seen devs? They take months to launch this DEX. This was launched one week into the project's existence. Can't complain. If you go back to the roadmap, look like what they might have in the future. It looks like a game, the Kishi Bros mobile game in phase four, and then shit cards. More on that in a second. Now let's check out um, let's check out the Twitter page for some more updates. They've already applied to CoinGecko and Coin Market Cap. Additionally, just these little things just show it's not the team's first rodeo. They have a level of organization. They've done it before. Also, you can see they do regular Twitter spaces. The one tonight at 9 p.m. They do a Twitter space about every three to four days. I, all the good, pro the hugely successful projects, Brett Pepe, they do regular Twitter spaces. It's so important. It's not so relevant to like they're going to reveal new information on the spaces. It's just you get to hear. Here the dev talk and this is the dev pablo he does speak on the spaces that's big the community also talks they form friendships they form connections with each other it, it's just it just increases the chance that people stay with a coin and not get distracted and leave the community and go to different coins what else do we have here uh in 30 days they will be launching this is the shit cards thing i mentioned it will be a payment card contracts have already been signed that will be uh within about 29 days from now pretty cool pretty cool now let's look at some of the graphics right here so obviously a project like this is about the memes the memes are top quality but they also have some good video content take a look Pretty cool. Check out this one. Cool. And then I, after my first video, I did get a few messages from people. They just weren't really sure that they weren't familiar with this community, like where are these people from, what projects. So this is the head dev, Pablo Crow. I believe that this is his first project. He's been the sole dev hub. He's been kind of the lead and that first initial investor and lead influencer of other projects, such as Vault Inu, which got to a $400 million peak. And he bought when it was less than $1 million mark cap. He stuck with that one for the long time. Same with his community. And then Prometheum Protege, if you go down to his page, you can see he puts in a few tweets about this project prometheum right there so he was again sort of the lead influencer hype in that one as was his community this they did a near identical 350 eth raise in gempad this project did 520 so you can kind of compare them reached an all-time high of 20 million dollar market cap so remember this project right here monkey shit it's only at three and a half million market cap might be a good time to get in right now. And that's it for monkey shit in you. So obviously, guys, as usual, always do your own due diligence and always diversify your portfolio as well. But this one, clearly, it checks all the boxes for me. I'm super bullish. I plan on covering this project much more. I'm very excited to see where it goes. I think that this is a great medium to long-term hold for your portfolio. If you like it, I, if you, it could be, you know, buy it. And then if you want to shill it aggressively, it's good for that. Or if you just want to buy the coin and be a little more hands-off, check in with the Twitter once or twice a week, but not quite be as hands-on other coins that's how much faith i have in this team good for either purpose so anyways drop a comment down below guys love hearing from you hit the like subscribe button already if you haven't already be back later with a new video bankrupt signing out catch you later